Welcome back. Time for this week's Capital Report with Pat McGuigan of CapitalBeatOK.com. Pat, we are nearing the end of what has certainly been a tough legislative session. Uh, you've outlined some, quote, lessons from the 2016 budget crunch, and uh, I, I guess these are not high praise. Uh, your thoughts? Well, it might not be what people expect. It's not necessarily a laundry list of rules. I would say the other day one local public official, person I like, said that the cuts that are impending are devastating. Well, I guess that's where we are in the view of many of our, in our government. The thing is that a billion dollars out of a $24 billion pot of spending might not be considered devastating in the light of history. I'd say devastating as a historian. I look back and think of devastation when I look at things like October 24th, 1929, when the stock market lost 11% in a day, tried to rally, then lost 12 more percent, tried to rally, then lost 38% more, then lost another 31%. The wise men of that time tried to shore things up, and for a while, the, the steps that they took, uh, you know, stopped uh, the bleeding for a while. But eventually, one out of every four Americans who wanted to work couldn't find a job. And it took years for the economy to recover. When I look at Oklahoma, it's hard for me to agree with those that say the collapse in oil prices is not a primary driver in what we're living through. The price of oil was not that long ago in the course of history, $100 a barrel. Then it dropped to $28 a barrel. Now it's recovered to the 40s. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're all glad about that, except that there's a lot fewer companies and a lot fewer people with jobs. Uh, the reason for the $1 billion reduction that's needed in spending is that in the good years, the state did not right-size. The state did not take steps to be better prepared for a day like this. I always think, can't help it, sorry, I think of uh, men like Joseph in the Old Testament who made sure that the coffers, the bins, the storage units, if you will, were full uh, in the good years so that they'd be available and ready for the lean years. That's not what we've done. Even in a year such as this, the assumption on the part of many is that things don't really have to change. <clears throat> That's why it's something I talked about in an earlier segment. Uh, <clears throat> so many people believe that, you know, we didn't need to bring administrative changes to education, which we try to hold harmless as a whole, but it sure would be good to put more of that money into the classroom rather than into administrative costs. The problem with where we are, context is everything. History matters. Oklahoma has a spending problem. We're not under tax, in my humble opinion. We have a spending problem, and we need to fix it for the long run, or these kinds of things are going to repeat themselves over and over again. So I'm kind of a dissenter, both from uh, the Democratic critics of the current leadership and from some of the decisions the leadership has been making in recent weeks. Quick thought on the limit of politics. Limit of politics. I'll have more on this later. Okay. I would just say that if, if you don't believe anything else after listening to me just now, I think it's a little time for a little bit of uh, 1 Thessalonians 5.17, pray without ceasing. We need it, and the country needs it, too. You can read more about these and other topics at CapitalBeatOK.com. For Pat McGuigan, I'm Alex Cameron. Have a great day.